Hello everybody. Today we're going to be talking about importing control points into a parcel fabric. In this situation I've already got existing control points and I want to import some new control points uh, into this current fabric. So let's take a look at our file we're going to import from. This is a CSV file where we have to have X, Y, and Z defined and these need to be uh, double. Uh, format for that to work. Um, here we've got the names just defined, um, survey date, monument type. We can populate more fields uh, depending on how much we want to bring into the fabric or we can populate them after we import the points as well. Um, so what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to come over here to our catalog <clears throat> and we're going to navigate to our location of where our fabric is at and we're going to right click on the parcel fabric we go to import control points and then we get this dialog box the import import control points wizard pops up then what we're going to do is select the location of where our file is saved at and here's our CSV file and we're going to add that in there and we'll click next and then it's asking how close the tolerance we want. If points fall within this tolerance, uh, excuse me, existing points in the fabric, then it'll actually uh, overwrite those. Um, in the case where you're updating existing points, maybe you have uh, more accurate GPS data, you might want to use that feature. Uh, in this case, our new points are separate and they're in a different location. Um, and I also want to define the settings uh, for merging points. And here's where you can control those rules. Uh, depending on your needs, whether you're overriding existing points or bringing in new ones. But like I said, in this case, we're going to bring in some new ones. So we're going to click Next and then Finish. And you can see it running the process, and it's going to be importing those new points uh, into our fabric. And here you can see our new points have been brought into our fabric. I've got those labeled so I know which ones I've brought in. And we can also see those down here in our attribute table. So. That's how we bring in uh, control points. We can import them into the fabric, whether you have existing ones already or you're bringing in new control points uh, from scratch. Uh, that's how it's done. Thanks for joining us today. If you got any more questions, please visit our website at cloudpointgeo.com. Thank you.